Welcome back riders. Since the release of the Neotech 3, we've gotten a lot of questions about how this helmet is different from the Neotech 2. And we've seen lots of people being unsure if it's worth upgrading. So in this video, I'll be guiding you through everything that's new about the Neotech 3, from major updates to tiny changes. Let's get started. All right, I've got both of these helmets here with me, so let's go through them. Now the main difference between these two helmets is their certification. The Neotech 3 carries the latest ECE 2006 certification and had to pass way stricter safety tests than the Neotech 2, which only carries the ECE 2205 certification. Now don't forget that both of these helmets are PJ certified, which allows you to legally ride with the gym bar open. Now that's it for the certification. The Neotech 3 released with a recommended retail price of 669 euros. So let's see what's new with this helmet. Let's start from the top. Shui didn't actually make any changes to the outer shell construction for the Neotech 3. It has the same fiberglass outer shell using Shui's AIM technology and both helmets are available in 7 sizes and 3 outer shell sizes. No changes there. Also, the flip-up mechanisms are pretty much the same. The button is a little different on the Neotech 3, but it functions identically. However, they did make some minor changes to the outer shell. As you can see, they've tweaked the aerodynamic grooves on the side of the helmet, which I think gives the helmet a bit more of a sporty look. A couple of the more noticeable changes are to the ventilation channels of the Neotech 3. As you can see, Shui opted for a way smaller top vent. And when you put them side by side, you'll notice how big the size difference actually is. This change will go a long way in reducing the amount of drag you'll experience at high speeds. The rear vents or the exhaust of the Neotech 3 has gotten a similar size reduction and it doesn't really stand out like it does on the Neotech 2. Shui has also made some major changes to the chin ventilation. The Neotech 2 is fitted with a flip vent that lets in a lot of air, but it can only be fully open or closed. And the Neotech 3 has a more nuanced chin vent that's adjustable in two positions and also comes with an insect filter behind it. I want to mention though that in our road test it turns out that the Neotech 3 ventilates a little worse than the Neotech 2. So while these changes will reduce drag a little, they also make the helmet a, a tiny bit warmer inside. This leads us to the visor changes of the Neotech 3. The visor closure is now in the middle instead of on the side which allows you to easily open and close it with both of your hands. Also their visor mechanisms are pretty much identical and hold the visor in 7 different positions. The similarities continue as they have the exact same sun visor mechanism, however the sun visor of the Neotech 3 drops down around 5mm further, protecting your eyes from road reflections. One final note about the Neotech 3's visor is that it takes a bit more force to push the visor down all the way and this will significantly help prevent the visor from getting closed by the wind. It also lets in a bit more air in this position compared to the Neotech 2. Let's take a quick look inside the helmet where you need to have a keen eye to spot the differences. First of all, the layout of the padding is the exact same between both helmets. Shui made a small change to the cheek pads. The Neotech 2 has this very soft mesh material across the entire cheek pad, whereas the Neotech 3 has that mix between that same mesh material and this more grippy texture. They did the same for the forehead padding, swapping out that old mesh-like material for the newer, more grippy material that honestly feels just about as soft as the mesh material. Funnily enough, they did the exact opposite for the crown padding, replacing that grippy material entirely with the more mesh-like material from the Neotech 2. I'm sure Shui based these changes on riders' feedback as they've been known to do, and our test rider really enjoyed the fit of the Neotech 3. Another big point of difference between these two helmets are their respective communication systems. The Neotech 2 is prepared for the Sena SRL2 and the Neotech 3 is prepared for the Sena SRL3. Unfortunately, they're not backwards compatible, so if you already have a Neotech 2, you can't integrate the communication system into the Neotech 3. The main updates that have been brought to the SRL3 are the sound quality and the amount of people you can connect with through the group mesh function. What's surprising is that even though Shui trimmed certain parts of the helmet down, it's still about 55 grams heavier compared to the Neotech 2. And one explanation for this might be that they needed a bit more outer shell material to pass those strict ECE 2206 tests, though I'm not 100% sure. Just know that the Neotech 3 is a tiny bit heavier than the Neotech 2. And that's about all there is to say about the changes Shui made to the Neotech 3. Most of the changes are rather small and can actually go unnoticed if you don't have a very keen eye for helmet design. So, are you going to upgrade to the Neotech 3? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to take a look in our web shop JapanHelmets.com where we offer the lowest price guaranteed with very sharp discount bundles. Like the video and subscribe to our channel, buy smart and ride safe. Until next time.